In today's Black Clover video, we explain why and how Asta might get a second grimoire, and how Sally and her DNA research might be the reason Asta unlocks his true magic ability. Also, only a small percentage of the people who watch our videos are actually subscribed, so if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. Please enjoy this video, let's go! To understand why it is possible that Asta could receive a new grimoire, we first need to briefly explain the basics. First of all, it wouldn't be Asta's second grimoire, but rather his first, because the sword magic grimoire originally belonged to Licht, and has turned into a five-leaf clover grimoire that can be used by devils. Furthermore, it is also affected by anti-magic. Since Asa does not have anti-magic, he is not the owner of the anti-magic grimoire. This became very clear in the Devil's Binding Ritual, where Liebe had full control over the swords and the grimoire, but Asta didn't. Why he ended up with a five-leaf clover grimoire is unexplained, but it is definitely not a coincidence that Asta received the five-leaf clover grimoire in which his foster brother was sealed. It was obviously planned on purpose by someone who had to have contact with Lysita. More about this later in this video. This then raises the question if Asta's man the fact was also artificially caused which was supposed to ensure that Asta gets the five-leaf clover grimoire which he could only get inconspicuous if he can't get any other grimoire or magic. At least that's my idea behind it. It is a fact that in the history of mankind no human being has ever lived without magic. At least that is how it seems to be. There are no stories or rumors about a person without magic. Asta is the very first. This is a pretty strong indication that what happened to Asta can't be natural. We know that that Yuno didn't get a second grimoire until he realized he was two souls in one body. With his full soul awakening, he was also able to use a new magic. This shows that it is important to have a certain magic in order to receive a grimoire in the first place. Due to the fact that something prevents Asta from developing mana, he could never develop magic and thus not receive a grimoire. Although there could be a grimoire meant for Asta if he just had mana. So you see, everything depends on whether Asta could use mana at some point. Now before we explain why that might be the case. We need to answer the question of what would happen if Asta could use mana and how it would work with anti-magic. Many assume that this makes no sense because anti-magic would cancel out mana. But anti-magic is a bit more complicated. Just because Asta fills his body with anti-magic doesn't mean he can cancel magic effect because Asta uses a special sword for that. On the other hand, Asta also has a sword that he can use to reflect magic instead of canceling it. If anti-magic destroyed all magic just by coming into contact with it, then the purpose of multiple swords with all their unique abilities would make no sense, since they would all have the same effect. Besides, there are just things that Antimagic can't do, like remove curses. He wasn't able to heal Henry, his arms, or Laura Pishika. Also, there were many occasions that proved that Asta was very capable of using magic and anti-magic without the two cancelling each other out. He was able to use the original ability of Licht Swords, that is, to absorb the magic of other people and store it in his sword. This is undeniable proof that Asta is able to use magic based magic even when Liebe has anti-magic. So now that we have explained that Asta could effectively use mana and thus magic, it only remains to explain why and how Asta would obtain magic and thus his own grimoire. Let's start with why. To put it simple, since the beginning of Black Clover, Asta is literally the mirror image of Yuno and vice versa. Not appearance wise, but based on power ups, both always receive the same kind of power. Yuno has received a legendary four leaf clover grimoire, and so has Asta, with the difference that his 4-leaf clover grimoire is now a 5-leaf clover. Both Yuna and Asta have a grimoire and magic abilities that are not their own, and both are somehow connected to the elves, more specifically to Licht. Yuna has Licht's own grimoire and Asta has Licht's grimoire. Yuna has Sylph and Asta Liebe. Asta has 4 swords and Yuna has 4 wind god weapons, although one weapon is still missing. Asta has unlocked half his devil form, Yuna has unlocked half his spirit dive, Asta learned the devil union mode, which is the full devil form, and Yuna also learned the full spirit dive, which could most likely have something to do with Saint Stage. I mean, even in the fight against Zagre, they both got the same kind of power up. It's pretty obvious what Tabata is doing when one gets a new type of power. It doesn't take long for the other to get the same or similar type of power. Of course, it's always possible for Asta to get a second devil. That's just the kind of character Asta is. He's the devil child who uses the power of the underworld, while Yuna is loved by mana from the living world. If you want us to make a video about this topic, let me know by liking this video, say 2000 likes. That will help me to understand your interest and of course the channel itself. 
As we explained before, Asta could have most likely had magic and mana, which could be the reason Lisita gave Asta away, even though she absorbs not only magic but also the life force. But here's the thing, when Asta was attacked by this substance from the underworld controlled by Zagret, which is known to absorb life force, Asta was not damaged at all. Asta's body is not protected from magic even when he holds his anti-magic swords, otherwise he could not have been cursed or damaged by magic. He wouldn't have constantly dodged magic attacks or blocked them with his swords if his body itself is resistant. There are countless examples, such as when Mars used healing magic on Asta to restore his life force, or when the Witch Queen could even use blood magic to control Asta in his devil form. This literally happened inside Asta's body while it was filled with anti-magic. So theoretically, Asta should have been affected by Zagret's attack. Zagret's ability to absorb magic and life force is the same as Lysita's ability to absorb magic and life force. Same words, same effect, all the same. So if Asta's body was resistant to Zagret's attack, and if Asta was also also born without mana. What was the reason Lysita had to give Asta away? It could be that Asta was indeed born with magic and that is why Lysita had to give him away. But keep in mind that this presupposes that Asta later became immune to absorption of life force due to the fact that he lost his mana. While we have no evidence of this, we have strong indications that this may indeed be the case. And this is where the coincidence of Asta receiving Libus Gruma comes into play. It can't be that this is all a coincidence. There must be someone who planned for Asta to receive Libus Gruma one day. We don't know how Libis Gruma got into the Gruma Tower. Obviously, someone must have taken it there. Either Lysita herself with the last bit of life she had, or someone who found Lysita in the Gruma. But no one is going to hide a five leaf clover Gruma without context. It looks like the person who did it had a conversation with Lysita, who explained everything to that person. The point is that it seems that Lysita planned for Asta to get the Gruma. So there is a possibility that Asta's body is really corrupted so that he could receive the Gruma. Now that we have explained why he might have mana, the the last point is how he could unlock his own mana and thus obtain his own grimoire. And this is where someone really unexpected becomes important, Sully. We know that Marx was tasked with escorting Sally to the Black Bull's base, so that she could experiment with Asta's DNA to develop magical tools to fight the Spade Kingdom. This whole experiment is very interesting because the magical tools invented are all based on data collected from Asta. Based on the information we have, she has invented a rope that can hide magic. If she really could invent such a tool from the analysis of Asta's body data, the ability to hide mana must have something to do with Asta's body, and perhaps the reason why his body has no mana or cannot access his mana. If we are being honest, the whole reason Sally wanted Asa's DNA for research is definitely not because of those useless robes she invented. It looks like the real reason Sally studied Asa's DNA has something to do with how Black Clover will reveal why Asta doesn't have mana. And it may even be possible that Sally found a way to unlock Asta's mana. That would be a great reference to Yuki Tabata's previous work Hungry Joker, in which a scientist who looks like Sally studied the blood of the main character who looks like Asta. And because because of that was able to invent a pill that allowed powers to be increased. So maybe Sally will invent something to help Asta with his magic which then would allow Asta to receive his very own grandma. Let me know in the comments what you think of this theory. Do you think Asta will receive a second grandma? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you are new feel free to subscribe to our channel with the notification bell activated. We do weekly Black Clover content and manga reviews. I wish you a wonderful day or evening and see you next time here on Yanami. Bye.